Maybe you're still remember this TV candy commercial. It's iconic on its era, because of its portray of the genius of the character. This is the topic of our video content. What were the famous mint candy then and now? How did the companies start and what is its history? Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon, so you are updated when I upload a new video. Mentos are the candies that freshen your breath with refreshing minty freshness, if you have not heard, make Diet Coke explode, oh, and if mint is not your thing, Mentos also come in fruit flavors, but be forewarned, the fruit flavors will do nothing exciting to Diet Coke. Originally thought of as a peppermint caramel candy, the Van Mel brothers came up with the idea for Mentos during a train trip to Poland in 1932. Van Mel, now Perfetti Van Mel via a merger with the Perfetti Group, was already a very well-known confectionery brand in the Netherlands at the time but they were relatively unheard of in the USA however, by the 1960s Mentos redesigned their packaging into the role we still see today and took their product global. Once Mentos came to the United States, Van Mel began looking for a home base and established themselves in Erlanger, Kentucky in 1978. Sales in the US were steady and modest, but why be modest when you can be magnificent? In the 1990s Mentos began an aggressive marketing campaign. They began by reducing the number of flavors from 50, to simply 2, mint and mixed fruit. Then they began marketing directly to consumers instead of the industry trade ads they had been producing for distributors and suppliers. One of the basic concepts learned in Marketing 101 is, know your audience. Well. The Mentos ad campaign totally missed the ball and fell into the first-gen international marketing issue of not understanding the foreign consumer and, because of the lack of understanding, the commercials were seen as campy, cheesy. They aped perceived American behaviors in a less-than-stellar mimicry and reinforced the foreignness of Mentos. In 1994, USA Today voted it one of the worst ad campaigns, however, the Mentos campaign developed by the German ad agency Penck & Partners, was the biggest successful failure ever. What made it so successful was that everyone was talking about Mentos. In 1991, Mentos cleared $20 million in US sales, by 1994 they doubled that, and by 1996 they had tripled their sales, proving their slogan fresh goes better. Mentos were such a topic of 1990s conversation that they were name dropped in the movie Clueless. Mentos fresher, fresh goes better with Mentos fresh and full of life. Mentos, the, the fresh, fresh maker. maker. Be seeing ya. Yeah, I hope not sporadically. Had sustained exposure during a whole season of Baywatch. And Foo Fighters wrote a parody mocking the cheesy ads in a song titled, Big Me. Foo Fighter fans would throw Mentos on stage whenever Big Me was being played, leading Dave Grohl, frontman of Foo Fighters, to stop playing live because, honestly, he says, it's like being stoned. Those little things are like pebbles. They hurt. I wish they were like marshmallows or something. Jesse Puritz, who directed the Foo Fighters parody video, summarized the Mentos ad campaign best in an interview with Entertainment Weekly. The commercials are a total lobotomized happiness. Why is it called Mentos? There is this rumor that Mentos were named after menthol, thought to be an ingredient in the product. This is simply not true, the brand name Mentos were inspired by their strong, minty flavor they possess. Menthol did not actually appear in Mentos until 1973 and even then it was labeled as the specific flavor of menthol, much like cinnamon, sour, mixed fruit, etc., are all flavors. Oh, and did you know that mento is the singular form and mentos is the plural form? Yes, rules of grammar even apply to Mentos, as in, I enjoyed my Mento from the role of Mentos you shared with me. Before we continue to the video, what is your funniest moment on Mentos candy, maybe in your Coke and Mentos adventure? Share it in the comments section. I will chose the best funniest comment, I will include it in my next video. It's a thrill, it's a chill, it's a bang, it's a boom but it's the whack, that makes it tic-tac. It's about time to learn how tic-tac started. 
Tic Tac is a minty and small hard candy that spark many fresh connections with those around you at any time. It's been around since 1969, the year of Woodstock and the first man on the moon. Tic Tac is a truly revolutionary product which invented a whole new category called pocket sweets. Despite their popularity within the United States, Tic Tac mints are in fact not American, it's Ferrero, the Italian candy company that also makes goodies like Nutella, Kinder Chocolate, and Ferrero Rocher, he created the company in 1946 as an experimental food lab in an effort to support his wife's pastry shop. About 20 years later, in 1969, Ferrero's son Michel took over the business and Tic Tacs were born. The name Tic Tac wasn't added until much later, the small mints were initially called, Refreshing Mints, before the name was changed, Tic Tac asserts that the new name had been inspired by the sound the little box made when it was opened and closed. Launch in the United Kingdom in 1970 the box's living hinge introduced an element of playfulness and ritual into eating Tic Tacs. It's an early example of food packaging designed for convenience and to promote use through the consumer's experience of the packaging. Each box contains about 36 mints, and, the packaging means that the last is as fresh and satisfyingly rattly as the first, if a little scuffed through repeated shaking, since 1980, the Tic Tac slogan, has been, the one and a half calorie breath mint. In the UK, France, Ireland, Italy and Australia Tic Tacs are noted as being less than two calories with the slogan, two hours of Tic Tac freshness in less than two calories. In Canada, New Zealand and used once in the United States, the Tic Tac slogan is, it's not just a mint, it's a Tic Tac. In India, the Tic Tac slogan is, refreshment to be share. A more recent, humorous TV advertising campaign encourages potential purchasers in the UK to, shake your Tic Tacs. The most recent advertising campaign features the slogan, refreshing little lifts. Over the years a staggering variety of flavors has been introduced, from early variants such orange, fresh mint, cinnamon and aniseed. Nowadays a new set of flavors is launched every summer and winter, Tic Tac sometimes provides limited additions to promote films, such as a banana and mandarin flavor for the 2015 movie Minions. Orange Tic Tacs featured prominently in the 2007 film Juno, in an orange box with white color mints as sold in Canada and Brazil. Film promoters distributed boxes of the mints prior to the film's release, although it's a favorite exercise of pack designers to envisage a new look for Tic Tacs, the iconic box has changed very little in more than 45 years, mainly because it was way ahead of its time when launched. Another innovation success story for Ferrero North America is the introduction of Tic Tac gum, which launched in fresh mint, spearmint and cool watermelon varieties. At the Sweets and Snacks Expo, the company unveiled a fourth flavor, Cool Tropical, which received a most innovative new product award at the show in the gum and mints category. They also developed Tic Tac Gum Liquid Center. The iconic sugared almond with unmistakable freshness is transformed into an irresistible maxi size. That for the first time contains a real liquid heart inside, for an explosion of taste that lasts over time. Available in the two variants Sour Cherry and Mint Lime. Overall, the innovation at Ferrero is a benefit that keeps the organization outstanding from its competitions. Frequently asked questions about Tic Tac candy. Are Tic Tac suitable for diabetics? The sugar consumption of diabetics must follow medical advice. According to the prescribed dietetic approaches, Ferrero advises consulting a family doctor. In any case Tic Tac is not designed especially for diabetic consumption or for dietetic reasons and always recommends a consumption in line with a moderate dietary approach and an active lifestyle. Are Tic Tac genetically modified organisms free? Yes, Tic Tac pills are GMO free. In accordance with the Ferrero Group's strategy which ensures no genetically modified organisms are used. Is Tic Tac gluten free? Yes, Tic Tac do not contain any ingredients derived from gluten containing cereals, wheat, barley, rye, oats or triticale. Why are they labeled as sugar free, but in reality, they have sugar on it? The nutrition facts for Tic Tac mints state that there are zero grams of sugar per serving. Tic Tac mints do contain sugar as listed in the ingredient statement. However, since the amount of sugar per serving, one mint, is less than zero, 5 grams. 
FDA labeling requirements permit the nutrition facts to state that there are zero grams of sugar per serving. Thank you for reaching this part. If you also have funniest or memorable moments with Tic Tac Candy, please share it in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and click the next video. I appreciate your support, till next time. Goodbye.